on point four six. Now we'll go for the next problem one point four six. Yeah, an electric dipole of charges two into ten power minus six and minus two into ten power minus six are separated by a distance of one centimeter. Yeah, there are two charges. Q1 and Q2, they are separated by a distance of 1 centimeter. Now you are going to calculate the electric field due to your dipole at a point on its axial line and also on its equatorial line from the center O, let O be the center of the dipole. We are from the center. I have a point P on its axial line which is at a distance of 1 meter from the center of the dipole. Can you understand here? So, I have a point P on its axial line. This is Q1, Q2 is the dipole. Let O be the center of the dipole. I have a point P at a distance of 1 meter from the center of the dipole which is on its axial line. Similarly, I am also having a point P which is at a distance of 1 meter from the center of the dipole on its equatorial line. So, at these two points you are going to find out what is the electric field. Now, what is your work? You want to find out what is the electric field on its axial line and also what is the electric field on its equatorial line if it is at a distance of 1 meter from the center of the dipole. We know that. The phi formula already we have did this derivation. Can you remember this? Electric field due to a dipole at a point on its axial line. This is given by the formula E equal to 2 P by 4 pi epsilon naught R cube. What is this R here? The distance of the point from the center of the dipole. Here I have taken it as 1 meter. Same way, what is the formula for this electric field at a point on its equatorial line? P by 4 pi epsilon naught R cube. I can also write this as simply which one is greater in these two E axial or E equatorial. E axial is greater than A equatorial. I can write this E axial will be equal to twice that of E equatorial, isn't it? So, first do calculate what is the electric field at the point P on its equatorial line. So, E equatorial is equal to P by 4 pi epsilon naught what is this here P? Dipole moment. It is given by 2 into 2D by 4 pi epsilon naught R Q. Substitute the values of Q. What is Q here? Q is given as 2 into 10 power minus 6. Q equal to 10 power minus 6 coulomb. So, 2 into 10 power minus 6 into what is this 2D? That is the distance between the two dipole, two charges, it is 1 centimeter. Can I write this as 0.1 or I can also simply to make your work easier, always convert the centimeter into meter. Uh, can I write this as 1 into 10 power minus 1? I can write this 1 centimeter as 1 into 10 power minus 1 meter. It makes your simplification easier into what is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught? It is 9 into 10 power 9 whole divided by what is R here? 1 meter. 1 cube is simply 1. So, your work you want to just multiply all the things. So, your 9 2 into 2 divided by this 9 2 is 18 into 10 power minus 6 minus 1 it will become minus 7 minus 7 plus 9 it will become 10 power 2 minus into plus minus to just 2, it will become 18, 1800, E equatorial equal to Newton per meter. So, the electric field at a point on its equatorial line is given by 1800, it is 1800 Newton per meter. 1.46. E into 2 into 10 power minus 6. E 
centimeters only that is one into 10 power minus 2 it will become okay so here 10 power minus 8 plus 9 it will become 10 power 1 so 1 centimeter it is not point 1 so it will become 1 into 10 power minus 2 meter centimeter convert the centimeter into meter it will become 10 power minus 2 meter so here I have 10 power 1 it is nothing but 180 Newton power meter so, once if I calculated this electric field due to this equatorial line, I can easily calculate this electric field due to this axial line. So, E axial is equal to twice that of E equatorial. So, it is equal to 2 into 180, it will become E axial equal to 360 Newton per meter. So, we have calculated what is the electric field at a point on its axial line and at a point on the equatorial line to be 180 Newton per meter and this is 360 Newton per meter. Next sum 1.47, there are two charges plus q and minus 3 q, they are separated by distance of 1 meter. At what point in between the charges? On its axis, its potential is 0. So, 1.47, listen to this cousin. There are two charges plus q, 1.4, plus q and it is minus 3q. These two charges are separated by a distance of 1 meter. So, there are two charges separated by distance of 1 meter. At what point between these charges on its axis, its potential is 0. So, this is its axial line. Let O be the point where its potential is 0. We are assuming that we do not know at what point its potential is 0. So, first I will find out let O be a point where its potential is 0. Here, let this point O be, let A B be the two charges, point charges. So, let it be at a distance of x from the charge plus q. Now, can you find out what is this distance? Total is 1 meter. These two charges are separated by a distance of 1 meter. I am assuming the point where the potential is 0 is at this point. Now, this point O is at a distance of x from the charge plus q. So, here it will be at a distance of 1 minus x meter from the charge minus so. So, this distance that is between O and B will be 1 minus x meter. Now, I will find out how will be the potential due to this two charges. So, here the work is done in bringing the charges from the point A to 0 will be stored as potential. Let that potential be V1. Similarly, here also work is done. Now, here the net potential I can write it as V equal to V that is potential is 0, V1 minus V2 because one of the charges is negative. Clear? What is the potential formula V equal to 2 by 4 pi epsilon naught R. Now, this potential is 0 at this point 0. So, I will take this potential as 0, V equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is common, take it out. What is the remaining here? Q. For this charge, it is Q by this R here, I am taking this X minus, this Q is minus 3 Q by 1 minus. Then it, so I can also write this as Q by 4 pi epsilon. So, to make it your work easier, we can write this as 4 pi epsilon naught 1 minus X. It will be equal to 0. Now, bring this that side, what happens if you bring this minus 3 q that side, it will become 3 q 
by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 minus x is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught x. Simplify now. So, what is the remaining? 3 by 1 minus x is equal to 1 by 2. Cross multiply. This 3x is equal to 1 minus, it will become 4x is equal to 1. Now, what is the x from this? It is 1 by 4 meter. You can also write this x as 0.25 meter. That is, what is x here? This x. That is, at a distance of 0.25 meter from the charge plus q, its potential is 0. Uh, other way, I can also say the potential is 0 at a distance of 0.75 meter from the charge minus q. Either way, you can write the answer. Clear? You write the answer in words, either in this way or from the charge minus q. So, you, how you can write the answer? The potential is 0 at a distance of 0.25 meter from the charge plus q. Then 1.48 3 charges three charges plus 1 micro coulomb 3 micro coulomb and minus 5 micro coulomb are kept at the vertices of an equilateral triangle of size 50 cm so that is the equilateral triangle in an equilateral triangle all the three sides are equal so there are three charges plus one micro coulomb and plus three micro coulomb and the other one is minus five micro coulomb. So these three charges are placed at the three vertices of an equilateral triangle of five sixty centimeter. So here also sixty centimeter, here also sixty centimeter. Now I will take this distance between these two charges as R12 uh, because this charge is Q1 and this charge is Q2 and this charge is Q3. And I will take this charge distance between these two charges as R23 and this one as R31. Now, for this system of charges, you are going to find out what is the electrostatic potential energy of the system of charges. Now, I have a system in which I have three charges which are placed at the vertices of an equilateral triangle. Now, what is the electrostatic potential energy? The work done in assembling the charges is stored in the system as electrostatic potential energy. So, that is given by the formula U equal to Q1, Q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught R12 plus Q2, Q3 by 4 pi epsilon naught R23 plus Q1, Q3 by 4 pi epsilon naught R31. And the, the 60 centimeter that is R12, R23, R31 is same for all the three charges, three sets of charges. So, I can take it out. That is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught will be common. I can also take this as R12. Otherwise, you write it inside first. Q1, Q2 by R12. This is one set for these two charges. Plus Q2, Q3 by R23 plus Q3, Q1 by R31. So, this is your formula for finding the electrostatic potential energy for the system of charges. What, do you, what is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught? It is 9 into 10 power 9. R12, R23, R31 are same because all are 60 centimeter. This 60 centimeter, I can write it as 6 into 10 power minus 1 meter, isn't it? So, you take it out, it will be 6 into 10 power minus 1 into what is Q1? 1 into what is Q2? 3. 1 into 3. Both are in micro coulomb. I can write this as 10 power minus 6 into 10 power minus 6. It will become 10 power minus 1, isn't it? Plus Q2 into Q3. Q2 is plus 3. Q3 is minus 3. So 3 into minus 5 into 10 power minus 12. Again, Q3, Q1. That is minus 5 into 1. write this as into minus 5 into 1 again into 10 power minus 12. So, q1, q2, q2, q3, q3, q1. I multiply. Now, you multiply and tell me the answer. 
So, what is here? 9 into 10 power 9 by 6 into 10 power minus 1, is in bracket 1 into 3, 3, here 3 into minus 5, it is minus 15, here 1 minus 5 into 1, it will become minus 5. So, whole this 10 power minus 12, I will take it out, minus 12. So, again I can simplify this as 9 into 10 power 9 by 6 into 10 power minus 1, minus 15 minus 5, it is minus 20, minus 20 plus 3, it will become minus 17 into 10 power minus 12. So, simplify this, 3 tables, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9. Then I simplify this, 2 1s are 2 8s are 16, 1 balance, it is 8.5. So, I can multiply this 8.5 into 3. Yeah, 8 5, 3 5, 15, 1, 24, 25. So, here I will be getting minus 25.5 into 10 power 9. This minus 1 goes to the numerator plus 1. Here I have minus 12. So, it will be minus 25.5 into 10 power 9 plus 1, 10. 10 minus 12, it is minus 2, is not it? So, I can write the answer in this way or I can also write this electrostatic potential energy is equal to minus, bring this point this way, you can eliminate this minus 2, it will become 0 0.255 joule. So, this will be your electrostatic potential energy stored in the system after.